literally just typed this online now because I wanted to film a tag video. I typed it in and someone has made one in 2017. I haven't even looked at the questions. I'm just trusting that this is going to be in a right tag. It was made on the rootreport.com website, whatever that is. It was just the first thing that came up. Um, and I may not look that Christmassy, apart from my eye makeup look, if you can see from that. I'm not quite sure how close I am to the camera because my camera's really, really far away. Like, I can't even reach it, but do I look close? And also, I am Christmassy. I'm wearing this Robin jumper from Primark. The first time I've wore it. Um, you just can't see it, which is really annoying. But I don't really like to be that zoomed out when I'm filming. I think... Up closer videos are, can sometimes be a better. Let me know if you prefer it to be a bit more distant though. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but maybe it does. Anyway, let's get started. There's 20 questions. I've got them here. We will go. Number one, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. I want to scream, but considering I'm filming this video at 20 to 10 at night, um, it'll have to be a, ah, a little happy eek, something like that, but I'd be a lot louder because it is late and I'm probably talking too loud as it is. Number two, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Um, can I just say I'm loving this tag already. Do I open? Yes. We open, me and my sister get to open one and it'll be a present for my mum and dad. Um, it will just be like a little small thing. I think most years I've just opened like a makeup product on Christmas Eve. It, this has only been a tradition for like, I want to say three years, like before that I don't think we ever did. Um, but yeah, it's kind of become a tradition now, but it's only a small present that we open. Number three, what holiday traditions are you most looking forward to this year? Um, traditions, I'm not quite sure really. The only tradition we really have is we all go around with granddad and grandma, it's Christmas day with all the family. Um, we obviously, we have dinner, we play games, I do this massive Christmas quiz that I've now done for the sixth year. We watch TV, it's just kind of family fun. I can say that's the only tradition we've pretty much done every year. Also, at the start of January, I'm going to Sense Parks, which I think I've done for the past three, maybe four years now. No, three. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'm super excited for that. So I suppose it's kind of after Christmas, but it's kind of the same thing. Number four, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Oh, I love this question. And it's fake. Um, the one we have downstairs, we've always had a fake one. We've never had a real one. Obviously, it's up to my parents because it's their house and they prefer fake. And to be fair, fake's a lot cheaper and it does look real. And if you watched my... Vlogmas that went up on Monday, you will get to see it all decorated and it looks just as real. In my room, I have a plastic white one, uh, so obviously that looks even faker, but I just love it like a mini one in my room. Number five, what is your favourite Christmas film? Now this is so hard for me, one, because I've not actually watched tons of Christmas films. And that is shocking considering I'm the biggest Christmas fan ever. This year I intend to watch so many more, but I think my top favourites got to be Elf. Um, Nativity 3, to be specific, and probably Home Alone 2, so yeah. I haven't really watched any, I mean I have watched some more, but they're my favourites out of the ones I've watched so far, but there will be my top 10 Christmas films coming up, I think that is going to be up in about two weeks time, uh, once I've watched a lot more, so I can then tell you my top 10 favourites. Number 6, where do you spend your holiday? You can tell this is American, can't you? Um, like I said, we just go by my grandparents' house. Number seven, what is your favourite Christmas song? Again, this is so hard for me. I've got so many favourites. I was considering making a top ten Christmas songs video, and I thought, no, I can't even rattle it down to that. Um, basically, the whole Michael Bublé album. Um, oh, I just, it's really hard. I'm going to have to say, maybe more I care what I want for Christmas is you. It is a classic, and it is a lot of people's favourites, but I feel like... I don't know, it's not my, there's so many, that's one of them, maybe step into Christmas out in John, Merry Christmas everyone, Shaking Stevens, I just can't narrow it down. Number eight, what is your all time favourite food slash festive treat? Um, I'm going to say advent calendars, like you can actually see mine in the back, Um, as small as the chocolates are, I just love that feeling of opening a chocolate in the morning when you wake up. Fun fact, I've also never tried more wine or a mince pie, and again, my aim is to try that this year. Number nine, I love this one. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? Obviously when I was younger, 100% I'd say receiving and I think anyone who says that, you're lying. But now that I'm older, like already I'm going to, this is a bit of a sneak preview because I've actually not even mentioned it in my vlog that's gone up yet. Um, but I actually made advent calendars for my mum and sister this year. Um, and that's got the majority of their Christmas present in that. So I spent so much effort going, like putting that into that. And then I bought a wine one for my dad because obviously I couldn't make that. 
um and i really enjoyed like they had no clue and that made me really happy to see that and i've had such fun planning all everyone's presents but then i love receiving presents so i really say equal it's kind of like if i woke up christmas day and i got no presents yes i'd be disappointed again i think anyone who says that you're lying there's that's still the thrill that i love waking up opening presents but i also do love people receiving and also last year for the first year my mum had to wake me up on Christmas, so it kind of shows I'm already getting older already. I didn't wake up at stupid hours, and also, my mum, I wanted my mum to open her Christmas present before I even opened mine last year, so my mind is changing. Number 10, what is your favourite thing about Christmas? I can't rattle it down, I'm not going to lie, there's just so much. Something that I've not mentioned yet though in this video is TV. Um just all the Christmas TV specials that they have. I mean, there's things that, you know, haven't even been on for years and they've come out with a Christmas special. And, I mean, it's not the thing I love most about Christmas, but I, I pretty much love everything. Number 11, when do you start getting excited for Christmas? Pretty much as soon as it ends on the 26th, ready for the next year. No, um, I, again, I used to be getting excited in, like, June time. And I do, like, there's this random burst in June where I'll just start playing Christmas music. And then that will happen for a few weeks. And then it's usually in September that I properly get started, get excited. But I can't feel festive until like the start of December because then everyone joins in and I can put all my decorations up. And then, yeah, so I suppose pretty much all year round if you want to sum it up. Number 12, what is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? I don't know what the best one is. Is I, I, don't, I can't rattle it down. I think I've, I get great gifts every single year. So it would be so hard for me to choose yeah i just don't even i can't choose one number 13 what is the worst present present you've ever received um again i can't remember like honestly being honest i've never received a bad present at christmas like when i ever get presents i always love them like even if they're the most random things like i would just love it so i honestly can't think of a bad gift i've actually ever received i mean i probably have but i just can't remember a standout one from the top of my head number 14 as a kid did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished it was for you again um considering i'm still a kid i have such a bad memory that i can't remember so i'm gonna say no but there probably was a dvd or game or something that my sister had got that i wanted but then we probably ended up sharing it anyway so number 15 what would your dream place be to visit for the holiday season um again i'm going to say center parks but i'm kind of going there after christmas christmas i always want to spend at home no matter what and um, but somewhere i really want to go for like new year's is new york it just looks so magical and then like with the uh, massive ball dropping in times square i've just always wanted to go there and to be honest disney would be a great place to go in the lead up to christmas or in between christmas and new year as well number 16 most memorable holiday moment i'm really bad with this type of stuff and i i can't remember i don't know a most memorable one I remember like everything, like, I can't say I've ever had like a massive standout memorable, mem memorable one, um, something that was maybe standout, I think I vlogged it two years ago, it's not a standout but it's just something I remember because it was so weird, um, I think it's the fire engine service round ours, they like go up, they go round like our area and like the blaring out Christmas music and then like a Santa walks along and yeah and I just saw that two years ago and I haven't seen it before and I've not seen it since but I know it goes around the area I don't know it, it was just like I saw it and I was like what is this I just heard music blowing um I did actually film that but um yeah number 17 do you make new year's resolutions and do you stick to them I do make them I do I've made them for the past two years and I can safely say I've not stuck to any of them and it's annoying that I say that but this year honestly guys I'm going to make a New Year's resolution video and I say it every year but I am going to stick to them. I can't promise I'm going to stick to them all but I'm going to try my absolute best. I say that but then after two days it will probably go down the path. Number 18, what makes a holiday special for you? These are like kind of all the same questions aren't they but reworded. Um, what makes it special? Probably just because I can relax. Um, relax a little bit. I mean until I'm finished like stop panicking about buying Christmas presents and getting them wrapped up and everything like that but no just that I can relax and it's just it's just festive like I know it's like cliche and obvious for me to say but I just love it I've always loved it my name's Holly I'm, I'm literally I made I was born for Christmas it's literally the same question at number nine what's the best part about Christmas for you I feel like we've literally had that we've literally had that question what's the best part 
Do you know I'm gonna try and pick an answer. What's the best part? Um, a lot of people say they their favorite part is the lead up. To some extent, mine is yes, but I still love the day so much. It's just the wait. But the sad bit is, obviously, as soon as the day's over, just Christmas Day does go so fast. Just so I do love to kind of make the most out of the run up as well. Number twenty, you've been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? I would love to be able to sing really well and not just mediocre like I am because I'm not even that good. But I'm okay. But I would love to be able to sing amazingly because my favourite thing is musicals and acting. And if I want it, because I want a career in acting, but I'm obviously never going to be able to get musicals, which is so sad because I can't sing. So that's a one at Christmas wish that I'd love to be able to have. So that was it. I'm going to link these questions below if you want to answer them yourselves. And do you know what? It wasn't a bad Christmas tag. I mean... A lot of the questions were reworded and I couldn't really answer them, but you know, it's made me thinking about stuff, so that's good. So remember to like, subscribe and the comment. I want the comment to be, one of my favourite questions in this, is your Christmas tree real or fake? I actually really like that question. I don't know why it was random, but I liked it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.